a big part of all of our childhood, you know, that just really is in the fabric of country music. And everyone who is an artist out there right now, I don't think there's anyone that will argue with that statement. Um, they just absolutely broke total new ground. And um, we're lucky enough to even to share some of the team members that um, sort of built their career and are now, you know, working with us. And they've, they've been a complete influence in a, in a lot of ways for us and you know when you're abandoned this genre you can't help but look to them for examples of the right way to do things so um you know they're just some massive massive band that that really shaped country music and changed the direction of it so we wouldn't be here without them oh i guess it's me Guys, congratulations. Hey, Fifth you. time. Yes, sir. Thoughts about that? Number five? Man, it... <laughs> you were pretty shocked the first time, so... Pretty shocked every time, you know? I, I would say, like, the third time might have been the time that we were like, yeah, we got this, whatever. Now, it's just insane that we're still getting to do this, period. And that we're getting this award for the fifth time. It's just... It just doesn't happen, you know? It's just, it doesn't happen really in any other category where it seems that, like this category is the one where you take it and you hold it, you know? And we're just so happy. Broadcast Bug had entered his blood and later resulted in him owning radio and TV stations. After graduating from Fort Payne High School, Cook received a degree in electronic technology from Gadsden State Community College in Gadsden, Alabama, and was named Outstanding Alumni by the American Association of Community Colleges. Cook loved that radio combined two of his favorite things, music and electronics. One of Cook's lifelong dreams came true with the construction of Cook Sound Studios uh, at his home in Fort Payne, Alabama, affectionately known as Cook Castle. The studio was a way for him to help musicians share their music with others outside of music. One of his favorite hobbies was bass fishing. He was proud to be an official fishing ambassador to the state of Alabama as proclaimed by five governors. Cook is credited for introducing the electric double neck guitar to country music. He was also an accomplished musician with the ability to play piano, guitar, fiddle, bass guitar, banjo, mandolin, and pretty much everything else that was thrown in front of him. Uh, he married the love of his life, Lisa Williams, on June 9, 1995. The Cooks resided in Cook Castle atop Lookout Mountain in Fort Payne, Alabama. And they also had a home in Destin, Florida. As a member of Alabama, Cook enjoyed one of the most successful careers in country music history. Over 50 years ago, Cook, along with cousins Teddy Gentry and Randy Owen, left Port Fort Payne to spend the summer playing music in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a bar called The Bowery. It's a legendary story. It took Cook, Gentry, and Owen six long years of tip jars and word of mouth to earn the major label deal they've been dreaming of, then seemingly no time at all to change the face of country music forever. Cook's iconic guitar licks, unique fiddle style, exceptional vocals and harmony, along with his bandmates, went on to sell 80 million albums and charted 43, 43, number one hits, becoming the biggest group in the history of the country genre. Now, um, I was back in 1980 listening to the Eagles, Linda Ronstadt, Steely Dan, stuff like that. And this band comes along and I remember all my friends were like, you're listening to country? And I'm like, yep. And I remember playing um, I believe it was Feel So Right. And people were kind of astonished, like, hey, this is country, but it's also pretty smooth. 
uh, it sounds a bit like I will come you back on here and encourage you to click the subscription button and also like the video. Now, the sad news coming in after the death of the legendary Jeff Cook of Alabama, the other band members of their Alabama group, Randy Owen and Teddy Gentry, have come out to speak about the death of their bandmate, a beloved friend, and a cousin. The Alabama co founder and the guitarist Jeff Cook, we all know he died on November 8th at his home in Destin, Florida and Cook was just 73 years old. We all know Cook actually produced a video in 2012 when he had been diagnosed with a Parkinson's disease and in his emotional statement he had said that he lived to play the music and he will always remember his best days when he was still doing music and also doing the touring. So the band members, uh, Mr. Teddy Gentry and Randy Owen have come out and said he lived to play our music. Actually, they paid tributes in an, in a very emotional and heartbreaking way. They released statements that said that um, our, be our dear friend, he lived to play music we created together. That's what Owen actually said via a very touching statement. He further said he could play any instrument he chose, but his harmonies I will miss the most. I'm thankful. We got to create music together for over 50 years. Wish we could play my homes in Alabama one more time. I'm hurt in a way I can't describe. To Lisa, thanks for loving him and being there for him to the end. Play on, Jeff. We love you. So Gentry added, closer than brothers, we live together for more than within our immediate families. I don't think I've known anyone who loved playing more. Jeff, along with me and Randy, experienced the highs of undreamed success as well as some very tough early years. None of us were perfect, but together we had something so special. It will never die. No other jitter player I've known had who had the range of styles that Jeff had. No one can take your place ever. Rest in peace till we get to jam again. So that was also the touching statement that was added in by Mr. Gantry who also is part of the legendary Alabama group. The group which featured Cook on the jitter, fiddle keyboards and backing of course um, his cousin or cousin Owen who actually always led the vocals and the rhythm jitter and Gintry the bass and backing vocals had their longest running members and were always together playing together and touring together. So they paid their emotional tributes to the legend Mr. Jeff Cook and they also said that at a later date the memorial service and funeral arrangements will be held and they will be communicated to the world. In this moment in time we send our deepest condolences to the family, friends and everyone who was close to Mr. Jeff Cook. Rest in power the legend Jeff Cook.